So, good morning. Time now is, no idea, nearly half seven in the morning, Monday morning. And I'm just leaving the yard, late start. get this box off in the place that we're about to drive by but I've got to drive by it go up to a roundabout turn around and come back <coughs> come back in again because you've got to access it from this side from this uh, direction and I can't turn right here so all in all it's a bit of a faff and a bad one of those things and the fact that it doesn't open till eight o'clock will help you I've got to go and sort of queue up really to get in. And it's wet and horrible. And I'm going to end up with, I've got to pick up a 20 foot box. Which is a heavy 20 foot box. Because by uh, the name of the company that I'm going to, and judging by the weight of the box, it's full of stone. So we're going up to just south of Reading off the M4, we come off at Thiel Junction 12 I think it is. Go down a couple of miles off the off the motorway and um come off a couple of couple of miles and it's uh, in a in an industrial park, well like an old farm industrial park, so I suspect it'll be quite tight, which is always fun with a heavy box. Hopefully it'll be flat. I see they're queuing up to go in already, look. I've got to get behind that that boy there. Oh, and this boy up here. I think there'd be that much of a queue. Slippery road, yeah. Well, I've got to get behind him somehow. I don't know how I'm quite going to do that. And he's waiting to go in as well. Oh my. Days alive. And these abacus as well. This isn't good. I'm gonna have to pull into that lay-by. Trouble is I can't spin it round here, there's not enough room. So now they're in I'm not chancing it. With other people mucking around. I got in there a bit earlier as well, that's the annoying thing. I didn't think there'd be uh, that much of a queue. Oh well. It is wet and horrible. I've got an 8, 8 o'clock VBS, so uh, <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. with this one everyone expects me to go off the road to the right but I'm not I'm going looping all the way around I'm hoping he's loaded no one's gonna come back when I'm round no we're good This place is done home to eight o'clock. And that is the that's part of the problem.
hoping no one's. I can still get in, otherwise I'm going to be uh, in trouble. No, I think I can get in. Just. Still get through there. Yeah, they can still get through. Right, and there you go. I'll speak to you all later on. This is the state of play. Rubbish, isn't it? Cheers. Hello. All plans change. And now, swap trailers. I've got that little box off, little 20 off. And uh, got that box off. And um, back of the yard, there's a 40 foot box in there on a, on a trailer, ready to go. Gumpy Skelly hooked up to this one and we're going to Chippenham. So I haven't got a faff about with uh, Lumpy Stone, well, not today anyway. Might be late. Ooh. Where do you get out of here? They shut the. Uh, uh, let's go and have to uh, find out what's going on. My speech is all in a minute. I don't know what's happening here. Yeah? Cone the door off. <laughs> oh mate, there's cones all along. Is there another way out? There's cones all across the entrance. Is there another way out? What if? Yeah. Oh, right. okay, mate. Lovely job. <laughs> Right. Oh, this is a ball lake. Let's see what we've got to do here. Okay, I need to get a better angle than this. I've got to go down there. Is that a big lump of metal on the ground? That's a big lump of metal, that's a shredder tire. No rush. Uh, that through here. That was a nasty bit of metal sticking out there. Oh, 
Ich sehe, da fehlen die Tree nochmal. Alles gut. Wie gut. Very good. Is that a lane, new curbs? On the left here. Yeah? That might be done today. Let's see. Warm. 18 degrees. Muggy as hell. So I'm not due into this place until I think it's either 12 or 12 30. And uh, at the moment it's saying I'm uh, due there at 10 to 11. So uh, I'm going to go to Ranhams and I'm going to go and uh, use the facilities. And then we'll make our way uh, up the A34 to Newbury. Hang a left on the M4 and then down a couple of junctions and come off. Anyway, as it stands, so I reckon I would have made the uh, I would have made the um, eight to nine VBS. Sweating more than Hugh Edwards on a on a WhatsApp messaging service. Yeah, nonsense, isn't he? Blaming it all on mental health. No, it's got nothing to do with mental health. Mental health. Certain that we were going to stop then. I'd like to think that we were going to. Oh, right. Ah. Oh. So we are now waiting. We're talking about house in Scotland. We are now waiting for. It's not a straightforward purchase, and the reason that it's not a straightforward purchase is because it has a livery business running at present, and residential lenders like your normal lenders don't like that. So we've spoken to a. Um, mortgage broker in Scotland who deals with these types of things and he's got a plan so he said gorgeous Kira spoke to him on uh, Friday yeah why not I spoke to him on Friday and he said leave it with me we can make it happen I just got to do some juggling now whether that means I've got to do some fiddling, I've got to do some do some chopping and changing of the way that everything works here, um, I don't really care. I don't care how he dresses it up, which is what it's what is what is happening realistically. 
it just gets presented in a different manner to what it is at the moment. And that is why, um, that is why they've um, had very little interest. Because everyone's looked at it and gone, that ain't gonna happen. Whereas if you speak to the right people, um, things can be made to happen. It's, 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 I like to, I like to call it solution focused. Solution focused. Gorgeous Kira come up with it. Rather than just going, computer says no. <coughs> well, of course it doesn't. Okay, so how do, we, how do we make it say yes? Oh, we can't. Yeah, but if we do this, 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 and this, we can make it say yes, no. Why not? Because I can't put that information in. Why not? Because my computer might have let me. Really? Yeah. It's a no. Okay, so then you go to someone that goes, can this be done? And he goes, yep. Yeah. Okay, so how can you do it then? He says, well, my computer's slightly different to all the other ones. I've got varying parameters. I can change things around. I can do this, I can do that, and I can do this, the other. Okay, so it can be done. Yes. How simple is it? Well, if you know what you're doing, very simple. Okay, we'll leave you to crack on then. Brilliant. And that's where we are. So we're just waiting for him to come back and say, yes, we can do it, but we've got to do this, 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 and this. <coughs> and we're lucky we've got a little bit, we've got quite a bit of money to put down on it. So it's not like we're looking for a, you know, we, we've got to get a mortgage to make this happen. This road's really greasy. Um, I'm sweating, Jesus. You know, we've got to get a mortgage. My cup's rattling around, so good job, I need to stop. Um, so we can get it done, and um, it just depends on what the costings are. And how he dresses it up. <clears throat> and there's various different ways. We could go out all out on a commercial mortgage, but instead of what it currently is, base rate is around 5%, give or take. You could fix in for about 4.5, 3.8. Depending on what the deal is at the time, sort of thing. But um, you could uh, get a commercial mortgage, but about eight and a half percent, and that that makes it way. It, 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 it's not a viable. I mean, it's there's other things that we can do if that was the case. See, he's right over the white line there. I can't chance going through there. over my son it's just not worth trying to force your way through some other drivers might have pushed their way through there I can go now no idea what's in here it's not particularly heavy mid lift is still up when I uh, hooked on yeah There's a bit of weight there, but oh, it's not um, it's not heavy. Let you get some air going here. Yeah. Right, so that's about the state of play, really. Um, what happened at the weekend? Oh, we took Goat Boy back to uh, university. He's happy, he's back in the arms of his lovely girlfriend. We took him shopping, oh my word. I thought he was gonna have a meltdown. We, we, we just wound him up. We call it payback, you know? All the times that he's been a bit of a dick. So, um, we were just going round it, round it, round it again. Do you want this? Do you want that? How about some of this? How about some of that? What about this? Oh, you, yeah, oh I don't want that. Why not? Well, how am I going to keep it? Well, how about putting it in the freezer? But I need to defrost a lot. No, just break out. You know, it's like chicken drumsticks or chicken thighs. We just, well, break them up individually and put them in the freezer. And then we get freezer bags. I don't want to be doing that. I said, well, hang on a minute. Think about what we're doing here. 
and think about what you can do to save yourself money. So it was a, it was a little bit, it wasn't hard work, but it was, we, me and, me and um, the gorgeous Kira had some fun. And it was, it, and we met halfway round, we met someone else and met another family with their daughter going to university saying exactly the same things as we were, which was even funnier. Yeah, we did chuckle. He didn't find it funny at all. I thought he was going to have a mental breakdown. So yeah, it was um, it was good fun. I forgot my flask, can I? I've got a, a, a hot cup, hot coffee holder cup thing. And I left it behind this morning. I didn't make myself one. And I don't know why I didn't make myself one, but for some bizarre reason I didn't make myself one. Didn't even enter my head that I should do such a thing. I don't know how I can forget to do that because I do it every single day. But I managed to this morning. Oh, I don't know. So this is Monday. And that is the story so far today. Um, I'll keep you updated. I've got to be back Friday. Without a shadow of a doubt, I've got to be back Friday um, because we're getting the uh, Euro Tunnel Saturday morning, early hours. Well, I say early hours, it's up our past eight, so we've got to leave home at about five, up past four or five. Get down and pick up the uh, the shop and get across to uh, Holland for a couple of weeks. So I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to have a couple of weeks off. Um, three weeks off now. Uh, two weeks in Holland and a week at home. Looking forward to that. So we'll just be uh, flat out this week. Chucked in some hours last week. There's traffic. No rush done that out of me. So there you go. Um, I was going to say I was going to sip me coffee, but I ain't got a coffee to sip. I could make one in a mug, but it tends to slop about. And it goes cold really quickly. And one thing I can't bear is cold. If it's meant to be hot, I like it scalding hot. I don't like it lukewarm. I don't see the point in that at all. I like it hot, hot. He likes his Scanias, doesn't he? He's even got a Scania doofer on the back of his um, tanker look. His plate. I don't know what the correct terminology for one of those is. Non-hazardous product. I'll speak to you all later on. Let's see what's going on here. Fuck Wittery, I think, by the looks of it. Jumping the lights, were not they? to negotiate in a minute.
what's he doing out in that lake? So I bet, I bet that box is going to come in. I'll put money on it. It's coming in now. Pretty mild, haven't it? Whereabouts is this crane? Here somewhere. Yeah, looking forward to Saturday. We've got a bit of a drive on Saturday. There's that crane. A bit of a drive on Saturday. I would have preferred to have. Uh, let's get ourselves out there. Would have preferred to have gone over on the. Uh, Night boat from uh, Harwich. But we had some Tesco's vouchers, so it cost us very little. Come on, if you're going to come out, come out. the M4, M4 turn left, westbound, the A350, heading towards Chippenham, half a dozen roundabouts, hang on right over there, coming on that, right, oh come on, put down, there you go, I was starving hungry. And I could do with a brew. Blah. Got me mug. I'll speak to you all later. Hello. Bloody awful weather. Down this road for a long, long time. Oh, 
Blimey, that's that unit over there on the left. That's uh, that's new. Blimey. Roundabout's changed. Here we go. Here a lot, and I had a proper job. Well, I'm just going to stop here a second and check the route in. Splash and dash as well. All I'm here, so I will speak to you all in a minute or two. I'll put you back on. Speak to you in a minute. We just pulled out of the lay-by. It's only in there a minute. Splash and dash. Oh, it's road bluff. It's got the old cart tracks. Well, this hasn't changed. surface water when I mean, it's been too bad. The motorway's been a bit uh, a bit damp. Could have done it any other lane. Never mind. I think. Uh, there's nothing there, that's alright. 
I'm gonna hang myself out to dry it. So I really need to be in that left hand leg. See that first roundabout, could have done with some arrows unless I missed them. It's always a possibility. I'm going to get wet tonight. It's smelling like a damp dog. image for you. into the industrial estate. The barb shop is open. Right. It's down here. It's quite bumpy. No one's behind me, so that's all right. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Come on, boy. My sense is going mental. Amazing. 
go left. Where he's going. He just got there before me, just picked me to the post. So I'll speak to you all in a bit. <laughs> 